Hey everyone, Rosie here. Today we're doing a dinosaur collage. It's been a while since I've used a dinosaur in a collage and I was just itching to use one. They're just so funny looking and sometimes they're super scary and I love pairing them in sort of like modern day scenes or with humans and it automatically like makes them look super ridiculous because it's like a thing that would never happen. Um, so we're jumping into two different dinosaur books that I have, um, and these are both specifically about dinosaurs, so they have tons and tons of images and tons and tons of dinosaurs, and I've actually used this book um, kind of a lot, so you'll see some holes uh, throughout it where, of stuff that I've already pulled. Um, and this is actually one of the very first books that I bought for collage um, months and months ago at Goodwill. And it's like one of the reasons that I got into collaging because it just had some great stuff. So here are the dinosaurs I pulled out that sort of piqued my interest that I thought were cool. Um, I thought they were in weird poses or they were good size. And actually this big guy in the middle is who I want to use as my inspiration for this collage. Um, he just looks super scary and I gravitated towards him because I wanted to humanize him and make him feel more friendly because he's just so angry looking. And I knew I could do that by pairing him with one of these vintage ladies. And I found this adorable lady knitting, sitting by her window. She's like gazing out. Um, and I just thought that if I pulled her out of her scene and put her with the dinosaur, she was facing like the right direction. So she'd be looking up at him and she was like the right size. And I, um, I did flip through the rest of the book to double check to see if there's anything else. But I kind of just knew that I was going to go with that lady. Um, but I did take a peek through the rest of the book just to see if there's anything else. And so while I'm cutting him out, I need to point out two things that are weird about this dude. One, his feet were like in water in the image that I took him out of. So he was kind of missing toes. So we're going to have to hide those in wherever we put him. And two, he's holding a fish. Uh, that wasn't going to make him feel more friendly. So we're going to have to cover that up too. And what's the best way to do that? We're going to give him a bouquet of flowers. Then it's like he's giving the flowers to this lady and it will be so cute and adorable. And I'm so excited. So we're going to have to pull out a bunch of flowers. Um, and so I pulled out a few of my books and just started picking out the ones that I liked. Then I had to find an environment for them to live in. So you can see here that I was testing out a few backgrounds and a lot of them were too small and it was making me sad because I was like, oh no, if I don't find the perfect background, this isn't gonna work. So I was a little bit worried until I found this. This mountain scene was perfect. There were lots of ridges and I could tuck the dinosaur back there and I could play with the perspective a bit. And the lady fit perfectly on this little ledge right in the front. And like I mentioned before, I had to hide this, hide the dinosaur's feet. So I had to cut uh, one of the ledges so I could tuck the dinosaur's feet back there. And actually, that made him like feel like he was actually there, like actually in this environment. So it was perfect that I had to do that. And again, everything just lined up well. Uh, we're going to lose a little bit of his tail here, but that's okay. There are more important things to this piece. Uh, so the next part of this, because we're already going so well, and I knew this was going to be the trickiest part, and that is figuring out the bouquet. Now, flowers are extremely tedious to cut out. They have all these petals and these skinny stems, and they're so annoying, but honestly, they're totally worth it. Um, I knew I was going to have to cut out a lot to test them to see which ones would work. I knew it was going to be tedious and annoying, but I knew it had to be done.
So after spending all this time trying to get these bouquet of flowers to work, I just decided I needed to chop off the fish arm. I just couldn't cover it up and I liked the idea of having, you know, these delicate stems uh, and I just knew it had to go and it doesn't look that awkward and I'm really glad that I just cut it off. And just look how adorable this one little delicate flower stem looks. I just can't get over it and like this is the sort of delicate nature that I wanted to add to this dinosaur. So I'm very glad I chopped off the fish arm. I thought it would be funny for like a second to see if a top hat would fit on the dinosaur's head um, to make him a proper gentleman. But after cutting one out and putting it on, I just there's something weird about it. And so I just took it off. Um, but I did kind of like that idea. So I'm a little bit sad it didn't quite work. Now, the last thing I thought that this needed was some flowers in the lady's little basket. So um, I thought maybe it would add to the story if, you know, she had been collecting all the flowers that the dinosaur had brought her or, you know, the dinosaur had noticed that she liked flowers and that's why he was bringing her some. And I just thought that would help tie visually, again, the whole thing together because it'd be flowers in both places. Um, and I was testing out a few here, but these were all a little bit too large and I didn't want to, you know, overpower her. Like this yellow one is just way too large. Um, so I pulled out a few smaller flowers and I think those, up, those ended up working really well. So we're getting to the end of this piece now. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this piece develop. Um, I hope you don't hate dinosaurs because if you do, you probably hated this. Well, you're probably not still watching. But anyway, thank you again. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see all my finished collages. And I'll see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye.